for this particular one, this chunks of color, we're going to do um, something, we, instead of just detailing all of the, sort of outlining it and drawing some details on here, we're going to color it. Um, first I'm going to hide the shoe sketch layer and I'm going to hide the bottom layer. So all I have is my threshold. I'm going to make a new layer on top, right clicking the little um, post-it looking one next to the trash can on the layers. And I'm going to get my paintbrush and I'm going to go ahead and I can I can tweak the size of this depending on what I want to do. But I'm going to basically paint on top of my shoe. So I'm going to find different parts to color. This is going to be a bit different than the, the hue saturation one because I can actually just draw right on top of it. Now here's the thing. Right now if I start drawing on top of it, it's going to start covering it up because um, it's completely um, opaque right now, which means it's not see-through at all. But I will, in just a moment, I will change the blending mode and then I will be able to see it. So if I go over here, this is my um, chunks of color. If I go over here to normal, I'm going to try doing something, multiply maybe, or some other kind of blending mode. That's kind of cool. I like that. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to paint on top of it. So I can do this different, I could continue on with this one, and then I could pick a different color for a different part of the shoe. And the idea is that I'm going to create a whole bunch of different, um, this is very much like Andy Warhol style, where um, if you think of like someone like Marilyn Monroe, the painting that he did where he would have these sort of high contrast images of her, and then he would um, sort of paint on top of her, paint on top of the picture. So I'm going over the little rivets right now on the shoe. So this gives you a kind of a different uh, control than when you're doing the hue saturation uh, adjustments.